There is a dead body in the trunk. Want to be a doctor? Surgeon. Follow me. Breaking news of what police are referring to as a series of... Hey, baby. Tie you up with cables. Oh, I'm not, uh, I'm uh. not bothered if they show, it's fine. It's just in oh. case that auditorium comes out. Copy, copy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if you want to be in there. I can prove those here. Prove that you are. Yeah. Come in here. We'll be just fine. Because then I'll know it's working. Nice. It is working. Sounds like someone's getting drilled up in that theater. Is it? Oh, I yeah. want to see that. Oh, Hannah came from that. our movies in that one, too. Who plays Chelsea? She's yeah. in that. Really? Yeah, she's one of the bitches Brilliant. that I think gets Brilliant. murdered. <laughs> Same Hi. as our movie, then. Hi. I had a little, I had like a list of questions. I thought, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna scrap all the questions. Fuck it, wing it, because right. we're crazy. How's, how's your evening been? I've sat and watched you for <laughs> two hours, or well, over two hours, because we're still running. Yeah. Not a, not a energy sap <laughs> at all. Where the hell do you get your energy from? Uh, off the people here. Yeah. Rabbit was an extremely yeah. difficult experience and connecting with the fans at film festivals, it's so healing for us to be able to see the film and see ourselves again through the eyes of people who appreciate what we do. There's no words to say what that feels like and that's why I have so much energy because I go home and trust me in Canada people aren't chasing me down saying I love you. I have to go to the UK for that. We can go to mom's house. We can go to mom's <laughs> house for that. Dad will say it. Why are they not chasing you down in Canada? You know, it's uh, I think it's that curse of being a Canadian artist that you yeah. have to go somewhere else to be appreciated. Like, look at someone like Norman Jewis, and he directed uh, Moonstruck and Jesus Christ Superstar. Most people don't know he's a Canadian director because Canadians almost feel like it's rude to show up. Mm -hmm. Where, well. Obviously, me and Jen market ourselves outside, so we're a little different from the great. I feel like we're like salmon, and everyone's like, why are they going upstream? I'm like, because it's fun. Let's go. Take all the chicks. Make more weird movies. Dead hookers in trunks. David Cronenberg isn't appreciated as much as yeah. he should be, so I take that with a grain of salt in Canada. Canadians are just not that excited about anything yeah. easily. Well, we're excited about Canadians. Ah! Thank you. So, that's Thank amazing. you. So, 10 years ago, Dead Hooker in a Trunk. Yeah. Low budget film. Yes. yes. Fast forward 10 years to now, yeah. you've revisioned a Cronenberg movie. Yeah. If somebody went back and told you 10 years ago that you would be doing that, would you have thought, you know what, we, we might? Or would you think, I... no. I would have thought, no, no way, because I would have said, <laughs> David Cronenberg's a real director, yeah. and I, I would say, I'm running from the police and with a camera. And, <laughs> and the funny thing is, David says to be an artist is to be a criminal, mm -hmm. so the amount of laws we broke to make Dead Hooker, I think he would have been bent, like, bent, bent. <laughs> well, we Did broke him. Do you want, you do you want me to that. lose, you you want me to lose my street cred? <laughs> no, no, we had the RCMP supporting us the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but from dead hooker in a trunk to basically dead ringers, it's it's insane that journey, and it really goes to show if you want to do something, fail at doing something you love, follow your stupid fucking dream. Sorry for the nastiness. Oh, awesome! Yeah, but that's our we, that's our phrase. We have that. Follow your stupid fucking dreams, and they're like, why do you say stupid? Because a lot of people think their dreams are stupid. Mm -hmm. Go after the stupid thing. You think dead making dead hooker wasn't the stupid thing? We've always done the stupid thing, and look where we are. Oh, you must have. In, at some point in your life, I've had it because I've now branched into making my own films. Yeah, oh, the wonderful. The first ones in the process of being done. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> That's hard, man. And it, people have looked at me or maybe yourself way, way back, way before mm -hmm. Dead Hook in the Trunk, yeah. and you go, What do you want to be? Filmmakers, actresses? And they go, Okay, really? Is that ever. I mean, it won't have stopped you, but have you ever had that look before? I think over here in the UK they do. They go, You can't do that. Why you can't follow a dream? Oh. I'm getting off this job. I still have people saying, You're not really a filmmaker. Not now, I hope. Yeah, we do now. Even still now. I have people say, Can we just be done with them? And you're like, 
<laughs> I call those people dream stealers, yeah. and they they've decided to not live their authentic selves. And when they see somebody else living their authentic selves and following their dreams and achieving their dreams, yeah. they get reminded that they've settled on something else and made an excuse that, well, I can't be a poet. Well, I can't be a writer. Yeah. Well, I can't work with horses. You can do anything you want to, but you really do have to put the effort in. And start yeah. off with a dead hooker in a trunk. Yeah. Yes. And Which, to me, is still my favorite film title ever. Oh, that was, was her? Thank was you. you yeah, yeah we had the title before we had anything else, and so said, what it's, what's it going to be about? And I said, I think we're going to have to put a dead hooker in the trunk at one point. Yeah. But beyond that, anything goes. Otherwise, people would be like, why did they call it that? We always wanted to do a sequel, Dead Rooker in a Trunk. Yeah, because, because we, we love Michael Rooker. We love it. And, you know, Dead Rooker in a Trunk is our version of Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought I made a comedy, and then people were like, oh, this is horrible. My sense of humor is just a bit darker yeah. than most. It's on par with the Brits, though. So I finished watching Rabbit, <laughs> yeah. which was amazing. Oh, I, I rewatched the original Cronenberg a few days ago. I've seen it many times yeah. before, yeah. but I thought I'm going to not compare it. Yeah. But yeah. I want to rewatch the original and then watch the Soska version. <laughs> Good timing. They, they are very different, yeah. but yes. they keep the essence yeah. of oh. the original one. Absolutely. Thank you. So Thank it's you. not like, I mean, we, we've all seen remakes. Yeah. Like, oh, this is coming up, this is coming yeah. up, this is coming up. You have, even though I've seen the original Raven yeah. within the past 72 hours, there was still the majority of points in that were like, oh, this is where, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the timing perfect. Oh. Even though I'd watched the the core of the story, oh, that's the so one. good to hear. Yeah, yeah there, was amazing. Uh, there were some moments in the original that you kind of had to do, but mm -hmm. there, you know what the big body horror moment of that movie is, yeah. and people are like, "You guys aren't going to do that for yours, are you?" And I'm like, uh, that's a start, and we're going to go bigger than that, and we're going to go crazier, and I'm going to need a whole wall to build a monster now." Um, it's, I don't know, I. I don't think you should go subtle with something like that. I, I'm so People would be disappointed if you went subtle. Yeah, and they, I don't think I know how to. <laughs> and it was I don't think you know how to. <laughs> I don't know! I think that <laughs> It was a return to body horror, too, and I know people were expecting and hoping for something really fucked up from us. And we wanted to set the bar high with the two creatures that, when you finally meet Dr. Cynthia Burroughs, yes. that is one of the moments that I want people to have uh, their breath taken away. Yes. Nice touch with the name William Burroughs. In oh, there was, thank there was you! so many little Easter eggs to Cronenberg that uh, I saw, the red gowns oh, and death yeah. Did you catch the actual William Burroughs in there? I did not catch the actual William Burroughs. Dr. Burroughs is listening to William Burroughs talking about vampirism when he's in his office looking at the picture of Lynn Lowry because most, well, oh, I can't tell you that. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. That's secret. your first nod that Dr. Burroughs is not his real name. He has just fashioned himself after Dr. someone he likes. Yep. Actually, all of the doctors at the Burroughs Institute are named after David Cronenberg's favorite authors. So T.S. Mm -hmm. Eliot and mm -hmm. William Burroughs. And uh, because we really wanted to emulate Cronenberg, we put our favorite author in the film as well, Chuck Palahniuk's Invisible Monsters. Yes with the ripped off face and the sunglasses and the hat and the veils and the shawls around. That was out of his book too. So we really wanted to put our own little naked yeah. lunch thing in there too. Yeah, just to say, we read books too. <laughs> and it also shows that you're fans of Cronenberg. Yeah, oh, Because you. the love that you've got for his films, it's in the film and you can see it. Oh, thank it you. It does have a different temperature, the film. Yeah. Well, Cronenberg, certainly his early stuff feels very cold. Yes. yes. Rabbit, very warm, neon and no, not happy. Cause yeah. it's so <laughs> the, the colors the are happy. The colors are happy. It's a Absolutely. beautiful looking film. It's a oh, much more you. vibrant thing. Even at the end of the original Rabbit, Rose ends up in a navy blue jumpsuit. We wanted her, ours, Rose, to be more feisty. So she's in a blood red jumpsuit. Yeah, and uh, Peter Mahalachuk, our production designer, and the whole team just went crazy with the color and the designs and the everything and those paintings. Like, it was. We were just spoiled with talent on this. Great Canadian team. You've done a fantastic job. Oh, thank You've you. You've had such a really long day, no. I'm thinking. Ah. But also watching your, your Twitter yeah. feed. You've been all over the world. Yeah, we have. It's crazy. We just came yeah. to Spain this back. morning. Yeah. yeah. It was our first time there. It was <laughs> such a whirlwind, such a culture shock, too, because everyone's sleeping in the day and they party all night. Yeah. Our, our midnight screening was at 3 in the morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. they, they need to change the title of that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> if they said it was like 3 a.m., no one would show up. Everyone just sits there drinking like, is it midnight? It seems late. <laughs> so what's it like when it's a wrap up because I know we've got one other interview well, for you. But it was like, there was a, oh, we've got five minutes left. Brilliant. Yeah. There was a girl I saw you meeting and she, she burst into tears. Aw, oh, Megan. Yeah. Megan. Was, in one way, sad towards because oh, you're, you're crying, but it's the emotion that she had. She's she's an amazing young lady. She's actually a survivor, and uh, watching American Mary gave her a lot of strength to go through a lot and survive through a lot of things that she wasn't dealing with in her real life. And uh, we actually met her at the fright test. Yeah, yeah. And she she had written a letter, and she was too nervous to even tell us. So she she tried to put the letter to Jen's hand, and she's like, "Please take it." And Jen took it. And we're like, "Oh, what do you think that is?" And then we read, it and we're like. Wow. She wrote down everything that it was too hard to say. And, you know, I really feel honored with my platform. Everything that people love about me right now, Sylv and I were relentlessly bullied for. I mean, we were teased and treated horribly. And I really like to talk about mental health, and I really like to talk about positivity. And I also like to talk about the repercussions of being a shitty person and how it affects everybody else. That's kind of a theme of Rabbit as well. The infection now is in our minds, and it comes out through our words and our actions. And why do we even go online and write shitty things to each other? Like, why put any energy into the negative? So it's so important for me to have connections with people like Megan because we both have shared life yeah. experience and for her she thinks that I mean some people look at me and Sylvan and think yeah. we never suffer we don't have a hard time because we're so happy yeah. but I think if you're a really loving person you survived you know your own darkness and when you can tell other people hey I've been in a dark place and I made it through it's it's the best gift in the world I mean I love doing that and meeting with people like that more than the filmmaking yeah it's, you can't put a price on that that's so much more rewarding yeah. and it's like I watched the, you know, sitting in the auditorium before you came in yeah. so everybody was sat there just waiting for the film to keep on you both came in and you could feel the energy level ah! going on <laughs> everybody was all happy and, and you know, people were stood there for I know we're spoiled. They we're were spoiled. All, you know, last guy. Yeah. I got a shot of him. He, he, he was so face. cool. Was so yeah, cool. they were so cool. There were even people there going back into lineup for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, you you're back. You were just there in the queue. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I love it. But it was so interesting just watching yeah. everybody oh. queuing up. And then oh. The energy levels doesn't wave, so oh, it means a lot. Keep doing what you do. Oh, thank you. And just, just keep making whatever films you want to, you want to do next. Dead Rooker in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. We'll call Michael. So, what's what is next? Well, we're working with uh, Martin Katz and Karen Wilkie, who are David Cronenberg's producers. So uh, we are going to be a lot more relaxed in our filmmaking as we've never been before, which is kind of crazy because. You're about to see some really, really weird movies from us. I've seen all your films. <laughs> oh, oh, thank very you. Wonderfully oh, weird oh thank, thank you. Well, you. you're about to see it just get kicked into high gear with uh, a lot more support. So I'm very, very excited. Yeah. Um, there's an original mo movie we've been trying to make for years. In the movie, even Gunter says, next time it's going to be your collection. So that was what we were kind of hoping after we did The Master. Because after American Mary, no one wanted us to do an original movie. That was that opened and slammed shut a lot of doors. So, to be able to return to something of ours is just so cool. It's a it's an original monster movie called Bob. Nice. Yeah. So um, there's a, a friend of mine who does co-hosting on my podcast. Mm -hmm. I will give you two on my podcast. Oh no! Yeah, I love we that. We've swapped tweets over the over huh? years and stuff, okay. so you'll be you're aware of me. He was he actually said he hated me because I was about to sit down and meet you two. Oh. So, so could you say hi to Stuart Miller and tell him to stop hating me, please? Stuart. Stuart. You dodged a bullet, my friend. Yeah. Dodged a Big bullet. Big bullet. A saucy yeah. bullet. Yeah. See? He <laughs> saved you. This is a pal. This is a pal. Yeah. Yeah. You made me even more prepared because I'm saying exactly where I want to be. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. Can I grab a signed rabbit? Yeah, absolutely. I have Thank a pen you. in my pocket. Sign on my back. I was, but I am happy. Would you like it personalized? Yes, please. Is there any special spelling? S T U E.
S T U A. S T U A R T. Yes. I thought the I was like, where's the rest nope, of it? Not. What happened? I'm dropping the rest of it. Yeah, it's called the Is the red light supposed to flash on this? Yes. All right, so it's not. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Yeah, after the wonderful weekend of Grim Tracks, I now get hit by reality in the, 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 the blues. Oh, the blues it's, of, of, uh, it's the calm down after the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't forget your connection no. to us. You can do my back if you like. Oh, okay. Don't no. There's popcorn kernels down here. Oh, no, don't eat them. No, no, no. I know you're hungry, but leave them. They've probably been down there since, like, Avengers 2. Ha! <laughs> Since Captain, America, Since the Captain America, the first Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, guys, we're so old. I remember the first no. Avengers movie. Do you? Back then. I remember the first Superman movie, so. Yeah. Sorry, I remember the first Spider Man movie, and I wish there was a fourth one. Yeah, I even think the third one's way better than any of the new ones, because it's still yeah. like doo doo doo. Like the we all make fun of it. It's a little bit old, but you know, it makes. Have you ever heard? Have you ever heard him explain it? He said that that's it. That's as dark as Peter gets. Like so, when Peter had the, and then when he said it, I was like, that's so stupid. <laughs> like the Peter's like, when I'm evil, I'm like, yeah, like fifties villain. I was like, okay. How dark would you be if Venom sort of took over? How dark would I be? Have you seen American Mary? I only let her out in my movies, and that's that's my girl. <laughs> well, everything's what um, parallels, you know. As so uh, above and so below, you know, if you're this happy, you have to be American Mary on the other, other side. <laughs> so, a quick final question as well while we finish the signatures. So, I, I've told my fiance this, so I'm going to ask this question. Don't ask that, they might take offense, they might not take offense. So, if somebody's not aware of the sausages. Yeah, yeah, of course not. What, we, would, what would be your choice of the entry film for your film, filmography? Wow. I would say American Mary, and especially. If it's a if it's a lady that you think doesn't like horror, American Mary is the movie that will convert her, and she's going to be a total horror movie fan. I've had so many guys say, "My girlfriend hated horror movies until she saw American Mary, and now she loves it more than me." Yeah, I don't know. I would say Rabbit because <laughs> Ra oh, no, no. Rabbit is so awesome and so crazy. And if you watch Rev and you're like, you want to watch something else, show them American Mary after. So they'll be like, oh, the Ave Maria thing. Oh, they hacked themselves. Oh. So make them watch too. Yeah, yeah, watch and watch too. Rabbit Always. and American Mary would be an insane double feature. Yeah, I think it would be a great double feature. It would be relentless. <laughs> really I will depressing. Go for that one. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Can I grab a break? Yeah, yeah, of course, do it. Love to your Selfie. fiance too. Yes, I will. She's. she's uh, thank, thank her for trying to protect me. Protect me from you. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You want to name this back? Thank you very much. Thank you, Stuart. And oh, enjoy your final yes. your final interview for the weekend. Oh, thank you. 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 Thank